Veterans Association of Real Estate Professionals, VA Rep, is a national nonprofit organization dedicated to improving the lives of service members and veterans through housing and philanthropy. While our focus is on service members and veterans, our programs and services have helped families from all walks of life realize the American dream of home ownership. We accomplish our mission through a five-point plan of education, empowerment, philanthropy, opportunity, and affordable housing. As a HUD-approved affiliate, we educate and guide our clients through the maze of housing options such as home buying, financing options, foreclosure prevention, and renting at no cost to them. Through our affordable housing development projects, we offer homes for purchase with closing cost assistance for active military, veterans, and first responders. We are honored to donate many mortgage-free homes each year to deserving heroes. Help is our workshops aimed at helping participants improve credit scores and manage money in order to become responsible homeowners. Participants will walk away with a HUD certificate necessary for a variety of loan products. Since many of our members are veterans, we have a diverse network of patriots across America who are trained to serve the housing needs of any service member or veteran. VA Rep Cares is a place where qualified service members and veterans can apply to get a hand up when facing hardships. Our success is measured not by a balance sheet for shareholders, but by how many lives we can improve through our programs and services, one veteran at a time. If you are a real estate, lending, or housing professional, visit varep.net and join today. I joined VA Rep because Alaska didn't have any chapters and we have a lot of military and a lot of veterans. So when another realtor had mentioned that they were looking at possibly starting up a VA Rep chapter, I jumped in feet first. I was contacted from Steve Bohannon, who's the president of our chapter, and he talked to me about VA Rep. He told me about all the good things that was going on nationally and how it's already affected the VA loan. Then I kind of found out that it was a nonprofit formed mostly of real estate professionals who were there to educate other real estate professionals about VA loans and VA home purchases to support local veterans and it just knew immediately it was something I wanted to be a part of and I wanted to get involved I jumped on board <laughs> I think what draw me to this chapter is that there was a veteran who was in need that lived remote Alaska and he was about 72 years old and was still chopping wood for heat to keep his house warm for him and his wife it's pretty important if you don't have a heat source that's very necessary to live in our state. We sourced him a Toyo fuel oil stove and a fuel tank. I watched what it was that they did to gather funds and so when I saw that, that's actually what drew me to the group. I heard about VA Rep from another member. MJ brought my business in to be a sponsor and 
I loved the energy they had and what they were doing for the community. So I wanted to join. I love everything about VA rep. I love the lunch and learns because it means we are improving the professionals in our industry. To better help veterans and serve veterans and get us into the VA. So this push for us to become a VSO to where we can get where we need to be. I love that VA rep is for our community here in Alaska. It's very state specific. The camaraderie and we have a lot of fun together. Uh, the other thing that the chapter has done is directly helping veterans. So through the VA Rep Cares events, uh, we've helped current and former military members who are in need. Maybe they've been down on the times of some kind of hardship that was unplanned, unexpected, and maybe they don't have enough money to get through it on their own and they need a little help from us. We do fundraisers and throughout the year, golf tournaments, stuff like that to raise money. And what that money is used for is just putting it right back into education, teaching. Especially in the real estate sphere, the benefits to accepting a VA offer. The end of the day that's really what it's all about and why we're boots on the ground raising money and doing the things we do. I did 30 years in the military. I served in the military for nine years. My mother served in the military and so did my father. Grew up a military brat and was a proud military spouse. I have a lot of family and friends and people close to me that have served. My father-in-law is a U.S. Army veteran and my brother-in-law is active duty. My grandfather was in the Pacific Fleet during World War II. My wife's side of the family has about six active duty. Veterans are my tribe and anytime I can help them and serve them, it lights my fire. Someone had asked me why am I in VA rep when I'm not a veteran and my mother was in the military. It's, it's a neat way for me to give back to support veterans. There's so many reasons why you should join VA rep. We'll just give you the tools. We truly do a lot from the local level all the way up to a federal government level. We're here to help the community in the state with the people that never ask for anything. For real estate professionals, it's a fantastic way to learn more about the VA home loan and military and veteran families and what they go through in buying a home. You get a lot of insider insight. We're going to do our first MVHC, which is a deep dive into the VA loan. A lot of things that people don't know. That was a whole nother piece that I learned when I got involved. If I was a real estate professional looking for an organization to join, I would take a good look at, at VA rep. There's nothing I don't love about VA rep. And we're out here in Willow, Alaska on a very rainy Alaskan summer day to deliver a Toyo stove and a fuel tank to Glenn and Catherine. They live in a 900 square foot home and for years Glenn has been out chopping wood because the only heat source he has in his home is a wood burning stove. He chops about five cords, six cords a year and he's at a point now in his life where it's getting increasingly difficult to keep up with that demand because of back problems and age. So we found out about Glenn's story and we decided we were gonna do something to help. We went out to source a powered Toyo stove. It took a little while, but it's been well worth the journey. Today we're delivering that Toyo stove and that fuel tank to Glenn so he'll have a reliable heat source in his house so he won't have to keep going out and chopping wood 365 days a year just to keep the house warm. My name is MJ and I am our Community Outreach Director and we're really happy to be here with Glenn and Catherine today for our VA Rep Cares Initiative. Like Steve had mentioned, we're here today to provide Glenn and his lovely bride a Toyo stove to keep them warm in the winter. And if there are any other veterans out there we can serve with uh, needs such as a stove or any other resource, please do reach out to us and VA Rep Cares would love to talk to you. Over Christmas, a local VSO brought to our attention that they had a veteran whose pipes had frozen. Now in Alaska, with our cold temperatures, frozen pipes can result in loss of water 
and loss of heat in somebody's home. So when they brought this to our attention, we were able to utilize the VA Rep Cares initiative to hire a contractor to go out to the veteran's home and fix the busted pipes so that she could have water running and the heat back on to host her family over Christmas. So if it weren't for the support of our membership and our sponsors helping us fundraise for these VA Rep Cares initiative, we may not have been able to get the water and the heat turned back on in this veteran's home. So we greatly appreciate all of the support of our mission and for anybody who wants to join and help us continue changing lives of local veterans, please reach out to us. Have wonderful VSOs that we are partnered with here in our area. Most recently, we were referred a veteran who had ice damming on their roof, which is a, a very common thing here in Alaska. For those of you who don't know um, general description, it's pretty much a buildup of ice on a roof that can cause further damage to both the roof, the home, and cause some leaks. So we were able to utilize some of the funds raised at our events throughout the year to pay a local professional to remove the ice damming to prevent any further damage to the veterans home. It's all thanks to our membership and the sponsorship and all the funds that we're able to raise at our events throughout the year that we can actually um, support the VA rep cares initiative. So if you hear of any veterans in need with a handing house up, please do reach out to VA rep. We would love to vet the vet as we call it and see if there's an opportunity where we can support them with their need. And then also we'd love for you to become a member or a sponsor or attend our different fundraising events because you too can help us change the lives of local veterans in the area just by supporting our mission and being part of it. So I encourage you to join. A veteran homeowner in our area was seriously injured in an incident and he remains incapacitated to this day. His wife, because she was a caregiver, was unable to work. So over the course of that last year, they started missing payment on their mortgage payments. Their house ended up going into foreclosure. Their ask of us was to help them find a storage unit to store all of their family memories so when they left the home, they'd have a place for it to go. We got on board and we funded six months of storage and we helped them load their boxes into the storage unit, transferred the keys of the unit to them for the next six months. On behalf of my veteran Henry, we'd like to say thank you to VA RevCares. <sighs> this is all possible through uh, VA Rep's program, VA Rep Cares. It's a program that we have where we lend a military or veteran family a hand up when they've run into some unexpected hardship and maybe doesn't, don't have the means to handle it themselves, right? We can jump in and we can help that family in need. We had a gal that was referred over to us that originally had a housing need. Fortunately, thanks to one of our local VSOs, we were able to cover her housing need, but more importantly, once they had a roof over their heads, they were in need of a vehicle to get them safely to and from school and work. So VA Rep Cares was able to utilize our fundraising efforts to make a down payment on a new vehicle for this veteran and her family, which she may not have otherwise been able to afford. Thank you again to everybody that has come out to our events and been so gracious with all of their support in our fundraising efforts so that we can make these great life changes for our local veterans in need. If you have a veteran in need, please reach out. And more importantly, if you would like to be part of our mission, please get in contact with any of our South Central Alaska members or board members, and we would love for you to join our mission so together we can support more veterans. My name is Bray Havrilla, and I was a recipient of a $2,000 check from VA Rep, and I would just like to say thank you to South Central VA Rep, as well as Lithia Dodge in Anchorage for this help for our family. It meant a big deal to us.
talking about golfing, and last month over 60 people registered for the annual Stars and Stripes Golf Tournament at the Settlers Bay Golf Course. Yeah, the bogeys and birdies didn't really matter because the purpose was just a hole in one, raising funds for veterans in need. Carly Shrek has that story in this month's Outside the Gates. They say the more you practice, the luckier you get. But here, it's not a competition. Cheating is encouraged, highly encouraged, yeah. It's golfing for a cause. This is our third annual Stars and Stripes Veteran Charity Golf Tournament. We are here to raise money for that VA Rep Cares initiative so that we can give back to the local vets in need right here in our South Central Alaska community. For the last three years, the Veterans Association of Real Estate Professionals has been hitting the greens to raise some, all of which is used to serve those who have. The funds we use here uh, benefit uh, veterans in the home buying arena, if you will. We use them, uh, we use them to, to host educational events, that kind of stuff. But where the real money goes is helping those veterans for the VA Rep Cares who just need that hand up. Many here at Settlers Bay Golf Course are vets themselves. Programs like these, they, they, they give you an avenue to ensure that, that you're not alone, right? So um, it's inspiring. VA Rep's mission is to educate active duty military and veterans on their VA home loan benefits, but also assist those experiencing a housing crisis. The veterans are very proud people, and they don't, they don't come up voice when they need help. They just suffer in silence. So what we had to do is we had to get their neighbors to rat them out. As the organization has grown, so has the need. And now we're at a point where we're getting a lot of hits from you know, third-party um, uh, nonprofits or whatever who are bringing veterans to us. So uh, fundraisers like this will allow us to continue keeping that pipeline fed as veteran families come forward and say, hey, I, I could use a little bit of help to get back on my feet. Which is why they putt for a purpose worthy of a round of applause. Nice, nice, Very nice. Nice. For Outside the Gates, Carly Shrek, Alaska's News Source. Hey, VA Rep, welcome to the 2023 VA Rep National Convention in Orlando, Florida. Something that I learned today is that I'm just always reminded when I come here that our freedom comes at a cost, and it, I feel so respectful of all the veterans that have served us. 